Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anna. So for my uh, Christmas in July swap, I made another item and I wanted to share that with you. So I was watching Rosa Kelly and she had a, I believe she calls it a water or envelope waterfall folio. So it seemed simple enough and I thought, well, I think I can do that. And, um, yeah, it's not perfect, but, um, yeah, I, th I thought it turned out pretty, pretty cute. So this is the folio. It's not very thick. And, uh, of course this is the back all, all is calm. All is bright is what, uh, the, the, the entire page said. And it's, I just put a little, you know, just a, a paper for the, for the, um, binding and then i did put in this little tassel this tassel was given to me last year by a really sweet lady um, we had a swap and she included some tassels and it just happened to be the uh, sugar blush paper because i was doing pink last year so she used the sugar blush paper and she made me this sweet sweet cute little uh, tassel and you know I loved it and I'm glad I'm finally you know getting to use it so on the on the on the front I just I had some Rick Rack so I went ahead and put that on there uh, along two sides and this flower came from a little thank you note it was on the on outside of an envelope and I thought oh my goodness it would look cute right there so I took it off the envelope and uh, and I put it here and I just put one of those uh, little bling centers or, you know, that not the bling center. One of the little uh, glitter balls that I had gotten last year during Christmas. And uh, I just put them here and there and I, I put one on the top of this little hat. And then I just made a bow. This was another piece of uh, ribbon or, you know, trim that I had in my stash. And it was just I believe that's all I had left. So um, it was perfect. I made a little bow. And then these uh, little um, snowflakes are actually brads. And I just cut off the back and I went ahead and, and stuck them on there. And then it's got this little flower tucked back there. And then I put these little uh, water droplets. I, I believe it's what we're calling them. So I put them on the gold dots here. And um, yeah, these are all... Uh, they're, they're clear, so I just put them on there, and of course the, the color shines through. And I put one in the center of the snowflake. And I didn't do anything else to this guy. I thought he was so adorable. Um, so yeah, I just left him alone. All I did was put the bling on his little hat. So when you open the folio, I'm gonna move this. When you open the folio, it's got this page here. I just put, um, a couple of mats down of course the one that goes on the page itself and then uh i matted that and then added this all this um all this calm all this bright like what's on the back except this was a cut apart so i went ahead and cut it out and i did a pink mat i went around the edges with the gold marker and um and that's all i did that you know sh the recipient she can um choose to put a picture over that if she'd like so the envelopes are as you can tell not perfectly straight but you know it is what it is um so I matted both sides of the envelopes and then I put a little strip here to hide that little gusset so those are my um my my waterfall pages and what I did wrong was when I look at Rosa Kelly's um tutorials I always have to keep in mind that she has she uses her paper her trimmer a little differently she positions it a little differently than I do so when she was cutting her envelopes down to size I accidentally cut the wrong end so I use them anyway um so I, I believe she doesn't map the bottom of hers or or she may she may but um <clears throat> this is actually the back side of the envelope and which should be on this side and it isn't um, because I cut the opening on the wrong side. Let me see. You can see that's all solid right there and you can see where on this side, this is the back. But I mean, you know, the, the functionality of it still is the same. 
So, and on the mats, what I did was I just cut pink cardstock. I was going to do uh, the 110 pound cardstock, but um, I didn't want this to get too bulky because I did, um, you know, mat both sides. So I said, no, it's going to get bulkier once, pic uh, you know, pictures go in there. So I chose to leave it that way. And I just did the edges in that gold with the gold marker and all the pages are the same. Well, you know, they're all, they're all just plain. They don't have any other decoration other than the, uh, the paper itself. And on the last page, I went ahead and, um, made a little pocket with one of the pages. This went on the background and I used the, um, the bottom half of that page to make, um, you know this little to cover this little pocket and and I just put some cut aparts in there for her she can put a picture or two on there and again she can do pictures or journaling or whatever she chooses and then um, this little Santa Claus I just couldn't leave him alone he just needed to go somewhere because he was looking kind of lonely in that uh, you know leftover sheet of um, cardstock or cut aparts so that is what I have another item that I have made for my partner. I still need to put my ticket on there, but that is another item that I have made for my partner. I hope you guys enjoy this. You know, I am going to link uh, Rose's tutorial in the description box because it is a really good one and it is, it goes really, really quick. Um, I mean, like I made this in under an hour probably. Um, along with all the, all the matting and, and all that. So, um, yeah, it, it goes really quick guys. I hope you have enjoyed my, um, my project share. And I think in the next one, I will show you another item that I have made for my partner. And, and then I think in the end, I'll probably show you how I am packaging everything up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Have a great day.